And I want everybody to understand that uh, there's only one gospel, just one, not two, not three, not four ways to get to God, just one, one setup, one rule of law. The Lord our God, when he was here in the flesh, spoke plain. He said, upon this rock I'll build my church in the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. So viewers, you might as well get ready to be born into God's church. God's church. Amen. God's church. He started it when he was in the flesh. Christ Jesus was and is he. Started when he was here walking the earth, he set it up. Meaning he left the example to the apostles what to do, <clears throat> how to do it. And told them where it would begin. That's right. He told them, go to Jerusalem. to Jerusalem. Stay there until you be endued with power from on high. He led them out as far as Bethany. Then he lifted up his hand and blessed them. Then returned they, blessed God to Jerusalem from the mount that is called Olivet. And you had Peter, James, John, and all the other apostles with the women and Mary, the mother of Jesus, and with the brethren in the upper room. Seeking the Lord until the Holy Ghost fell. Blessed be God on the day of Pentecost. And they came through speaking in other tongues as the Spirit of the living God give up. That's what the whole world need right now. Right. Good old fashioned Pentecost. Right. I don't mean this trash that pretend to be Pentecost, not that recycled garbage that crept from the depths of hell no, no. and washed on the shores of America and Europe and every other place. I'm talking about the thing that God started. That's right. Amen. And you bear in mind, if you're not in what God started, you stay home. Stay home. Viewers. Are you listen to the old troublemaker? You stay home, including your pastor. Preacher, preacher, take your church, close it up now. You close it up. You close it up. You go to Home Depot or Lowe's and you buy the biggest chain you can get. Don't just put it on your door. Wrap it around the church. Wrap it around the whole church. Make sure nobody comes through the basement. Brick your windows. Amen. Make sure nobody come to that false church where you are leading them to an everlasting hell. Because fewer... Two places where you're going. Yes. Heaven or hell. Yes. Get past the genders now. I don't give two cents how you feel about me. You love me or hate me. They don't change the fact. It's heaven or hell. Yes. No in between, no purgatory, no shortcut. Heaven or hell. Or hell. Or hell. That's right. Amen. You better give me the book of Peter if you will. First Peter chapter 4 and at verse 1. No, 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 no. Let, let, let's, let's just change that. I want the day of the Lord. You better give me the book of Peter. I believe the third chapter, if I'm correct. Let's see how heaven and earth gonna pass with the great noise and the yeah. elements gonna melt with fervent heat. heat. The earth also and the works therein shall be burnt up. Yeah. All right, William. Second Peter chapter three, we'll start at verse one. Yeah. This second epistle, beloved, I now write unto you. This second epistle, beloved, meaning this is the second time I'm writing to you, church. In both which I stir up your pure minds by way of remembrance. Why is this being written? Both which I stir up your pure minds. I want to stir up. Stir up. Your pure mind. By way of remembrance. By way of remembrance. That you may be mindful of the words. That you may remember. Which was spoken before. The words that were spoken before. By the holy prophets. By the holy prophets and the commandments of us. The apostles of the Lord and Savior. Oh, I thank God for the apostles. The apostles of the Lord and Savior. No they here, yeah, they yeah, were, yeah. and they are ambassadors of God. That's right. Viewers, an apostle is one of the Lord's ambassadors. That's right. Sent by authority to represent authority from authority. Yeah. Amen. That's now what then. I am. <laughs> That's right. I'm an ambassador. Now then. Amen. I'm an ambassador here now. I'm not boasting, but I'm telling you my office. That's right. I'm an ambassador sent by God to represent authority. I was giving authority to represent authority from authority to who? Everybody. <laughs> Everybody. Amen. I'm not just sent to America. You can attach the rest of the world to it. That's right. I'm sent to warn the world That's right. of the things of God. Get this. 2 Corinthians 5 and verse 20. All right. Now then, we are ambassadors for Christ. We are what? We are ambassadors for Christ. No, for yeah. America. For Christ. For who? We are ambassadors for Christ. Yeah. As though God did beseech you by us. 
We pray you in Christ's stead. Be Do you hear this? Amen. We pray you in Christ's stead. Be, be ye. Be ye reconciled to God. Be us. Come back to God. That's right. Do you hear me pleading with you by God's permission? Come back to Scripture. Come back to Bible. Yeah. Come on back to God. Why are you out there? Yeah. And then some of you that's on the edge, almost out there. Hmm. You met him. You met her. You met it. You met them that's leading you to hell. That's right. I want you to understand the only thing that's out there is sin and death. That's it. God speak plain that the wages of sin is death and the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Yeah. I will never tell you like many other preachers tell you there's nothing out there. There's plenty out there. Oh, yeah. It's up to you to accept it or reject it. That's right. If you accept the world, you have made an agreement with death. And a covenant with death and an agreement with hell. with hell. If you accept God, you make an agreement to walk with him, obey him, serve him, and strive to enter into the straight gate. Uh -huh. Now then, we are ambassadors for Christ. We are representatives for Christ. Well, if I'm going to represent God, there's no need for me to integrate. No mixing yeah. of men's belief. That's right. If I'm going to represent Christ, I can't incorporate men frivolous. Foolish, hellish, childish, ungodly belief. That's right. All I want, glory to God, is what God believed. Yeah. What God believed. And when you talk like that, they say, you see there, where's your love? There's a lot of folk always talk about how I sound. You're not loving enough. What do you want from me? You want a kiss and a hug? <laughs> I'm not over the air to blow you kisses. No. I'm not over the air to give you hugs. No. I'm over the air to tell you what the word of God says so you don't burn. That's it. Huh? That's it. A man can hug you and kiss you until his lips get frozen. That's not going to keep you out of hell. No, no. <clears throat> God said preach the word. Preach the word. He didn't say kiss the word. Preach the word. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't tell me go ye into all the world and kiss everybody. Preach the word. Amen. Hug them. He ain't tell me to do that. No, preach the word. He said preach the word. Be instant in season. Say what? Be instant in season. I'm not the type of man who live by the way folk feel about them. You know, some folk, they're so mentally and emotionally weak, they don't want nobody to hate them. They say, I don't want no enemies. I, I want everybody to love me. I, I want to be accepted by everybody. <laughs> Here you're looking at a man who don't give two cents. If you love him, I hate him. That's right. I don't care if nobody except me other than God. That's right. I don't live to preach the gospel to please nobody other than God. That's right. And you better stay in the mind. Ain't nobody going to come back for me other than God. Amen. It ain't nobody made me a preacher other than God. Hallelujah. It ain't nobody called or sent me other than God. Yeah. It ain't nobody appeared to me and spoke to me. Hallelujah. Thank God and said, I have appeared unto thee this day to Thank make you. thee a minister, a minister other than God. That's right. So do I now persuade men or is it God? Or is it God? I'm not running around trying to convince you of anything. No. My job is to preach the word of preach God. It's your job to hear it and do two things. Mm -hmm. Accept it or reject it. Preach the word. Do I preach the word? Now you bear in mind, Amen. God Almighty have put that in me, Williams. Yes, he has. Yes, he did. No, yes, baby, he no. Go, hallelujah. Go, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Go take God. You bear in mind, it's not trying to force this way. Oh, Amen. Man. Thank God this thing was put in me when I was conceived. Uh, hallelujah. Before I was born, Hallelujah! this thing was put in me. Oh, it, was all, yes. it was put in me. Yes. That's, that's what God do mm. to predestinated preachers. Oh, yeah, yeah. Amen. When yeah. a man is predestinated, Amen. God put it in him. That's right. Until he told Jeremiah, before I formed thee from the belly, I knew thee. Mm. And before you came forth out of the womb, I, I, I already had you set apart. And I ordained thee appointed. And I ordained you. I already had you appointed. Unto the nation. Unto the nation. There, then said I, ah, Lord God. Ah, Lord God. Behold, behold I, I can speak, speak, for I am a child. I am a child. But the Lord said, Say not, I am a child. Don't tell me you some child. For thou shalt go to all, thou and I shall sin thee. That I shall sin thee. That's what's thee. wrong with me, viewers. That's, that's right. what's wrong with me. That's what's wrong with me right now. God <laughs> that's knows. That's right. I was put in the womb. Oh, this that's thing right. was in me that's in the womb. Go ahead, man. Amen. He put me in the womb, Go ahead. preacher. Go ahead. Hallelujah. Go ahead. Go ahead God. Man. I Go say ahead. I was put in the womb. Go ahead. A preacher. That's right. Thank God. That's Amen. Right. And when I came Hallelujah. out, Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When I came out, I said, Hallelujah. I came out with the gift already in me. That's wonderful. Amen. If you go put, if you put peach cobbler in the oven, pound Hallelujah. cake ain't coming out. That's right. Eh? That's right. Amen. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory Hallelujah. to God. Before I formed thee. Before. Before I formed thee in the belly, this, this I knew Bible thee. here. That's right. This is Bible. Jeremiah God, 1 and verse I, 5. I can say that. Mm -hmm. Before God formed me in the womb. I knew thee. He knew all about me. He knew. That's right. That he, Hallelujah. Glory to God. Wonderful. He knew. What he had in store for me. He knew how he had fixed me up. Hallelujah. He knew the boldness he had put in me. He knew that he would make me unafraid That's of right. anybody. That's right. Glory to God. I don't care who you are, where you come from. Mm -hmm. Amen. If you come from heaven, Hallelujah. but you don't bring what this book said, yeah. then you're going to go to hell. God knows. That's right. So you bear in mind, viewers, I didn't ask to be a preacher. No. I never been to seminary school since I've been born. No. I never took a Bible course at all. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God, but the great Jehovah, Hallelujah. the same one that Moses talked to on the mountain, that I am. Yeah, I am. That I am put me in my mother's womb of preacher. Hallelujah. He put me in there. Before I found the Glory to God. Yeah. That's right. And when I came out, go ahead. Glory to God, I came out with the gift. Go ahead. Thank God already in me. And then at God Preach. appointed time, Preach. hallelujah, at the appointed time Preach. when my change will come. Go ahead. Thank God he stirred that gift up in me. That's right. That's why my mouth just runs so much. That's right. Amen. Amen. That, that, I, I just want to show you that's why my mouth runs so much. That's right. I had some people tell me, do you read the Bible every day? No, I don't. I don't get a chance to read the Bible every day. Well, how do you know what to preach? I never know what I'm going to preach, what chapter, what verse. All I know that when the brother announced it, when I stand, hallelujah, when I stand up, thank God, it, it just falls on me. That's right. Amen. Don't know the chapter, don't know the verse. That's it right. It doesn't even matter to me what chapter, what the verse. That's right. Open it up. Thank God and God Almighty, by his permission, Amen. he's going to give me divine skill that dive and to his righteous intelligence oh, hey, that he have outlined in the word. That he have outlined in his word. And open my mouth. Go Thank God to declare for the dying world. Hallelujah. That you better get over here on God. God sent us in the last days oh, yeah. to warn you. That's right. Huh? That's right. Oh, you can hate me. You can feel every negative thought you can possibly muster. Yeah. But God Almighty sent us in these last days. Days oh, yes. to warn you. That's right. Amen. That's why a lot of folks, they're so fascinated how Williams and I work together. Listen, yeah. you, you, you're missing one. Yeah. It's God, God, then Williams and I. That's right. You're missing one. That's right. Amen. You got to include God. Hallelujah. That's right. Take God. That's right. I had some folks ask, how would it seem like he know what I'm thinking? No, he ain't got to know what I'm thinking. No. Same spirit that's in him, thank God, is in me. Hallelujah. God know Hallelujah. what I'm thinking. That's so therefore, I, I push my thoughts aside, and then I preach to you the thoughts of God. Go ahead. I preach the thoughts of God, go ahead. and William read the thoughts. Oh, go. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. William read. Go ahead. The thoughts of God. That's how this thing is working Hallelujah. here. Hallelujah. Bill, go. Hallelujah. 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 Yeah. Bless Hallelujah. God, viewers. Hallelujah. I'm telling you right now. Hallelujah. This is how it works. That's how it works. Right. This is a Holy Ghost God anointed program. Hallelujah. We don't have cue cards. No. We don't have markers in the Bible. No. We don't pre plan no message. No. Or it take God. God told his apostles, don't Hallelujah. premeditate. Don't premeditate. Hallelujah to sweet Jesus. Hallelujah. That's right. That's, eh? right. That's right. Don't premeditate. Settle it therefore in your heart. Look how well God wants you to have it. Luke, Give chapter and verse for this. St. Luke chapter 21 and verse 14. Settle it therefore in your heart. Not to meditate before what Not to shall meditate answer. before what the answer. I will give you a mouth. Hey Amen. Turn Williams up. Turn Williams up, Judah. I will give you a mouth. You a mouth. And wisdom. And wisdom. Which all your adversaries shall not be able to gainsay nor resist. Amen. I thank God for the mouth that God gave me. Hook oh, me up to scripture. Yes. Amen. That's why I, I just love it. It hurts me, brother. Hallelujah. Glory to God. It hurts. Hallelujah. But thanks be unto God, I love it. And yeah, I, I'm determined to preach it. That's right. But I tell you, I don't care what I got to lose, who I got to lose, who get mad, who get upset. Right. Hey man, uh, that don't mean no more to me than a roach can wear Nikes and 
tap dance Thank and you. entertain all the governments of the world. Amen. Amen. Eh? Amen. God is coming. That's right. Amen. And God has given us a message so the world can get prepared for his coming. Amen. You don't have time. Don't waste your energy getting mad at me. Mm -hmm. Do something better and obey what I'm telling you from the book. That's the it. The devil make you focus on how I sound. Yeah. Right away, oh, he's arrogant. He ain't got no love. When you think like that, it's because you's a spoiled brat. That's right. You done sat in that devilish false church for so long yeah. and learned them lies for so long, yeah. now you're spoiled. Mm -hmm. But I'm telling you, yeah. this know also that the day of the Lord will come. You better give chapter and verse for this. Back in 2 Peter chapter 3 and at verse uh, 7. Come on. But the heavens and the earth which are now. No, we get at verse 5. At verse 5. All right. For this they willingly are ignorant of. Let's go ahead and back to one and let's travel. Real quick. For this they willingly are ignorant of. They are willingly ignorant of. That by the word of God the heavens were of old. The word of God the heavens were of old. And the earth standing out of the water and in the water. Hold it. Now let me explain that. Amen. The earth was standing in the water. Out of the water. Out of the water. And in the water. Now let me explain and show you how in the days of old, the earth was in water and out of the water. Well, when the water came in the days of Noah and flooded the earth, the earth was flooded by water and the earth was in the water. The earth was out of the water because the ark and Noah and the contents of the ark were sailing on top of the water right. and all flesh is dust and dust is grass and grass is earth. So that's what Noah and those that was in the ark was. They was earth. Their body was flesh. Their body was dirt. Their body was dust. Their body was earth. So therefore, that's how the earth was out of, out the, of the water, water. because Noah and his household and the, and the animals of the ark, they was out of the water, but the globe or the thing, everything else of the earth was the under the water or in the water. So that's how the earth was in the water and out of the water. Right. All right. Whereby the world that then was. The world that then was. Being overflowed with water perished. Being overflowed with water perished. You bear in mind, they wouldn't hear Noah. Mm -hmm. They wouldn't hear Noah, but it didn't stop the judgment of God. Viewers, oh, no. you're mad right now, upset right now. Preachers are yelling from one end of the country to another. Hallelujah. You don't find them yelling about these other preachers like they do the truth of God. Amen. They don't do it at all. It Amen. goes to show you how strong this message is. Amen. You don't find too many people move if you just poke them with a plastic knife. But let me get a butcher knife. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Let me get a butcher knife. You're going to move. Amen. You're going to move without me telling you move. Amen. That's where this gospel is. It's so strong, strong. so sharp, yeah. so piercing. Until you're going to move, oh, yeah. I'm going to have your full cooperation. If not, you get ready to lay in hell and burn throughout eternity. That's right. All right. But the heavens and the earth which are now. The heavens and earth which are now. By the same word. By what? By the same word. Not another gospel. It's not a different message. That's it's right. the same message. That's right. Prepare to meet thine God. Amen. The heavens and earth which are now. By the same word. By that same word. Are kept in store. Are kept in store for what? Reserved, reserved unto fire. Wait a minute. They're reserved for what? Reserved unto fire. Viewers. It won't be the fire like California. Oh, no. It won't be the fire like Oregon. No. It won't be the fire like the state of Washington That's because right. man can contain that. That's right. That burned out of control for a while, but man can drop water on it and put it out. Yeah. But my God, the Bible said that thou have you kindled a fire mm -hmm. in, in my, my anger. And for a right. fire is kindled. Look at God talking. In Deuteronomy chapter 32 and verse 22. A fire is kindled. In my anger. In my anger. And shall burn. And shall burn. Unto the lowest hell. That's the fire I'm talking about, the That's anger it. of God. That's right. God, eternal destruction that he designed. That's right. To get even with all you rebellious folk Amen. that hate his divine word. All right, let's go back to the book of Peter now. Back in 2 Peter 3 and verse 7. Yes. But the heavens and the earth, which are now by the, the heaven, same word. This earth that you like to party on, dance on. <laughs> I was in a barber shop the other day, uh, yesterday, in fact. <laughs> And uh, when I walked in there, the barbers, they had some old, I don't, I, I, I'm rap music, I don't listen to that trash, no how. <laughs> Amen. Amen. And they had some, I guess some female rapper. Mm. And she was just boasting and bragging and rapping about her body parts. My Lord. Amen. Using every type of slang you can think of. Yeah. Telling her what she'll do with men, with her body parts. Mm. Amen. And just what happened, my daughter was with me this time, my second daughter, daughter Sierra. And uh, some of the barbers didn't see her. Mm -hmm. And then someone mentioned to the barber, hey, look, man, Gino got his daughter in here. Turn that stuff off. Yeah. And the barber's like, oh, I didn't even see it. He turned it off. Amen. 
turns it off, showed, showed some respect, but just the very fact, amen, that a female rapper would make a song about her body parts, about her womb and her breasts and her backside, and then use the slang to describe it, amen, so the music can sail to the top of the charts. That's right. Viewers, how much of a hellion and how low are you willing to go to make money? Amen. What would you do for fame? Yeah. Why would you sell your dignity, your pride? Yeah. Just to be famous. That's right. Just to get a gold album. Is That's it right. worth it? That's right. That's right. Is it worth it? Mm. My God, we're living in a sick society. That's why they think something wrong with me. They get mad. Amen. They get mad because we take the Bible and throw it right up in your face and leave it there. That's right. Or we take God and call a spade a spade. Right. And then when we preach against the wickedness of the world, <laughs> oh, how the oh. wicked rage, how the heathen rage. Oh, Thank yeah. God and imagine vain things. Vain thing. All right. But the heavens and the earth which are now. All right, viewers, I guess taking this with to show you, you have a short time. The heaven and earth which are now. By the same word. By the same word. Are kept in store. Uh, kept in store. Reserved, reserved unto fire. Unto fire. Against the day of judgment. What else? And perdition of ungodly men. What? But beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing. Who did he say? That one Who day. Who did he say? But beloved, be beloved. Not, He's talking beloved. to the church. Yeah. Talking to the church, you better hear me now. Amen. He's talking to the church. Amen. Beloved. But beloved. Don't you be ignorant. Be not ignorant don't of this foolish. one thing. And plain English, don't you be stupid. That's right. Don't you be stupid of this one thing. That one day is with the Lord one as a thousand years. One day with the Lord years. is as a thousand years. And a thousand years is one day. And a thousand years is as one day. The Lord is not slack. The Lord ain't slack and son his promise. Whatever Sunday. God here, whatever mm -hmm. God promises church, he gonna give it to us. That's right. He gonna give it everything that God promised the church, That's we gonna right. have it. That's right. Thank God until he say, I go away to uh, prepare a place for you. That where I am, you may be also. And then uh, the Apostle John, the brother of James, the son of Zebedee, on the Isle of Patmos, blessed be the name of God, God put him in the spirit. And he had a vision. He saw New Jerusalem. Amen. And blessed God. And he said, I see New Jerusalem come down from God out of heaven, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. Then he said, the city lie at four square, the breadth and the length and the height thereof are equal. One part 12,000 furlongs, another part 144 cubits. And there were 12 gates. Thank God, and there were 12 foundations. Thank God, the name of the 12 apostles. Blessed be God. I don't want to miss that for nothing. No way. Not at all. No way. Amen. And here you willing to sell out for some old ignorant, hell deserving man or some cheap woman or some fool job or get money unlawful. You want to snort your way to hell, drink your way to hell, smoke your way to hell, dance your way to hell, lie your way to hell, gamble your way to hell, get high on your way to hell, drunk on your way to hell, have a little cheap position as a pastor yeah. or a junior bishop or artificial elder That's and right. die and go to hell. That's is right. it worth it? Mm. Viewers, is it worth it? it worth it. Is it worth it? Oh, you don't want to leave that preacher because he offered the, you to be a deacon. Hmm. Really? really? You don't want to leave that preacher because you say, well, well, he, he said he'll make me an elder. Is it worth it? Is it why, worth why, why will he ordain you an elder when you know down in your heart you don't even know what an elder is? <laughs> That's right. Huh? That's you don't right. even know what the qualifications of an elder are. You know, sometimes you can hold a person just by giving them a title. Yeah. Amen. And that shows the weakness of them and how they love glory, how they love limelight. You can give me all the titles you want. It don't mean nothing if you die without God. That's right. This is what I'm trying to pound in your head, viewer. God must be the most significant thing in the world. That's right. Nothing else matters. That's right. Glory to hallelujah. Glory to God, glory to God, then you don't find no religious program nowhere mm -mm. telling the people, God, God, we're like an alarm clock. God, God, come back to God. That's right. You don't, you don't find that out here. No. All of these things got some fake, cheap, ungodly, amen, blessing plan, or telling you this is your time for prosperity right now. They're promising you cars. They're promising you houses. They're promising you all of these gimmicks. No, uh-uh. You can have your house. You can have your car. Listen, I don't care if your car is longer than this whole campus, yeah. 200,000 square feet. That's a long That's car. A long car. And uh, if the president himself is your chauffeur, mm -hmm. and all of Congress, your trunk is so big, 
all of Congress. When they deliberate, they hold meetings in the trunk of your car. <laughs> and if all laws are passed, all bills are passed and made laws in the glove compartment of your car. Amen. That's a whole lot of business in the car, isn't it? Oh, yeah. That doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. You bear in mind when you die, you're going to leave that long thing behind. That's right. Huh? That's and this right. is what I want you to understand. Nigga, you came in the world, nigga, you shall return. I, I hope I can get this into you, viewers. I hope you can understand. Just ignore how white your dirty old skin is. Ignore how black your dirty old skin is. You white folk, you fool white folk. That's walking around to my white power. You ain't got no power. You black folk that retaliate and push your fist up in the air. Right on, black power. You ain't got no power. The power that be is ordained of God. Let every soul. Let every soul be subject. Unto the higher unto power. Unto the higher power. But there is no power. There is no power. But of God. Go ahead and say God, but of God. The powers that be the powers are ordained that be are of God. ordained of God. So you white folk, black folk, brown folk, tan folk, yellow folk, you might as well, all of you, you might as well give it and repent. Bring your white breeches and your black breeches and repent. That's it. Or we'll take God and be baptized. Oh, you don't want to do it? You don't? Mm -hmm. Then you're going to die and go to hell in your whiteness. That's and right. you're going to die and go to hell with your arrogant blackness. That's right. What did the Apostle Peter tell us? The Lord is not slack concerning his promise. The Lord. Glory mm -hmm. to God is not slack concerning his promise. As some men count slack. As slackness. some men count slack. slack. But his long suffering to us were. His long suffering. That means he's tolerant. That's right. Towards us. Not willing that any should perish, mm -hmm. but that all should come to repentance. But the day of the Lord will come. I told you. Amen. It ain't going to be the day of Geno Jennings. No, no. Oh, no. Not the day of Geno Jennings. And I know it ain't going to be the day of Williams. <laughs> oh, no way. Mm -hmm. No. If you're going to be the day of Williams, you might as well get ready to go to hell now. <laughs> That's, ah. right. That's right. Glory to God. That's right. If you're going to be the day of Genesis, you might as well get ready to go to hell uh, right now. Right now. It's going to be who? But the day of the Lord will come. The Lord's day. As a thief in the night. He's going to catch you. You know when a thief breaks in your house, he don't call you first and say, hey, Mr. Williams, yeah, are you downstairs? Yeah, well, if you hear any noise upstairs, that's just me burglarizing your house, so you don't have to be this, this you know, you don't have to bother. I'm just going to take a few items and I'm going to leave. And not, not that. No, no. Rather, when the day of the Lord, the Lord. hit, mm, just imagine you somewhere, viewer, smoking your weed, getting high, yeah. just getting high. Imagine you, viewer, you just looking at me right now, sitting up there with your beer. And you're looking at me right now. Yeah, I'm talking to you. Don't go look at me. We're like, you're so shocked, pointing at yourself with your mouth, your mouth open and your eyes bucked. I'm talking to you, brother. Mm -hmm. I'm talking to you, sister, with your bottle of champagne, walking around half naked in some other man's house. What's the matter with you? I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you, bigot, that's sitting behind your desk with a swastika in back of you. Go ahead. I'm talking to you, bigot, Go ahead. that's sitting behind your desk with a black panther in back of you. That's right. What? But the day of the Lord will come. Who's coming? The day of the Lord will come. Yeah, uh, there's, there's, there's nothing like this. No. That day of the Lord will come. He's coming. Yes, he is. Republican, Democrat, liberal, hellion. Hmm. He's coming. That's right. The day of the Lord will come how? As a thief in the night. No thief call you, like I said, and tell you he's going to break in. No. And what direction he's coming in. Mm -hmm. He just come in if you sitting on the toilet. That's your business. <laughs> That's right. Huh? That's right. <laughs> huh? That's right. Hey, man, you ain't going to tell the thief, look, I'm on the toilet. Wait till I'm done. <laughs> You're not going to do that. No, <laughs> no sir. Oh, no. Hey, man, that, listen, that thief don't even care if you got diarrhea. That's your business. That's right. He's going to come in there. While you on the toilet, while right. you in the bed, while whatever you doing, he's going to come and cause chaos. That's right. Viewer, while you somewhere giving that man a lap dance, mm -hmm. while you putting your wig on, while you putting your lipstick on, mm -hmm. while you putting your fake eyelashes on, uh -huh. blessed be the name of God, while you wiping that seed off of you that some man spilt that ain't your husband. Preach it, brother. Uh -huh. Preach it. Amen. While you in the clinic trying to cure yourself of the clap. <laughs> That's right. Huh? That's right. Amen. That's right. Over oh, we'll take God while you're in the clinic now. Amen. Taking your IV, your HIV pills, and, uh, and priest reading your last rites yeah. before you die and go to hell because of AIDS. That's right. The day of the Lord. But the day of the Lord will come. Amen. Amen. Come on, say, did he say what I thought he said? Yes, you heard it. If you didn't, if you didn't think I said it, rewind it. Rewind. Play it over. That's right. Well, thank God I mean what I'm saying. That's the right. day of the Lord. But the day of the Lord will come. It's coming. As a thief in the night. And listen, if he says a thief in the night, that means you're going to be going about your daily life. Yeah. 
your daily life doing your everyday deed, That's right. be it right or be it wrong. wrong. He gonna catch you, fella, That's right. while you out there burglarizing that house, breaking into that church. When you get ready to rape that old woman, God gonna appear. That's right. Imagine that, yes. right? When, when, when the entrance of your heart, see that pocketbook easy to snatch. Yes. There's the Lord. We'll come. Huh? There's the Lord. Hey, police officer, yes. when you profile that pro, uh, profile that black man, yes. amen, and pull him over because he's black and driving a decent car, right. amen, and you write out a ticket and then set him up and throw a little bag of weed in the car that you got from the police department That's from right. a bug drug, That's from a drug right. bus. That's right. Amen. So you can hypocritically arrest him while you're writing up that report. What's going to happen? But the day of the Lord will come. Hey, judge, mm -hmm. judge, judge. Or it take God while you're on your bench. Lest it be God, get ready to perform a same-sex marriage. You're going to hear chaos out there in the street. That's right. Somebody going to run in and say, come outside. That's right. Look at what's going on. That's right. Or it take God and Jehovah, Jehovah, Jehovah. Yeah. Or it take God going to be up in the heavens. That's right. Huh? But the day of judge, the Lord. Judge, your mouth going to come open. You're going to fall on your knees right with your robe on. Because down in your heart, you know you should not be marrying two men. That's right. Amen. You're a heathen and ungodly liar. That's right. But the Lord. But the day of the Lord will come. He's coming. Amen. He's coming. He's coming. That's right. And then let us know what I'm about to tell you. He sent me ahead of him. Mm -hmm. God right. sent me ahead of him. That's right. Amen. You know, John was a forerunner. forerunner. He was sent ahead of Jesus. Yeah. Amen. God Almighty, I know that just burnt you up. Oh, you think he's somebody? I don't think I'm somebody. I know I'm a preacher. And I know I was made by hands of heaven. That's right. And I'm telling the world, God sent me ahead of him. That's right. Before his coming, That's right. he sent me to you yeah. to warn you. Yeah. Thank God to turn from your wicked ways. Now, you can get upset over the statements I just made if you like, but it won't change. <laughs> it won't change. That's right. It won't change. But the day of the Lord but will come. God, the day of the Lord will come. As a thief in the night. As a thief in the night. In which the heavens shall in pass away. In which the heaven, the heaven, the heaven shall pass away. With a great noise. It's going to be a, I can't even imagine the noise. The noise. I can't even imagine how loud that noise is going to be. That's right. Uh -huh. And the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Imagine that. The elements, the planets. Amen. 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 Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, yeah. Uranus, and the Neptune, and Amen. All the different planets. They're going to do what? And the elements shall melt with fervent the heat. The elements shall Amen. melt with fervent, fervent heat. The what is fervent heat? Fervent. That means it's never going to let up. That's it's right. going to be hotter and hotter and hotter and hotter. That's right. uh -huh. The earth also. Wait a minute. Amen. Earth also. And the works that are therein. And the works that's in the earth, what's going to happen to it? Shall be burned up. Drive your car, be proud. Amen. Be proud about that car until you drive by the church. Yeah. You own your own business now. Look at all the money you're making. Yeah. Amen. Just keep robbing God. No offering, no tithing, but you'll buy those women a bunch of trash, wouldn't you? That's right. Amen. 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 You, 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 you keep feeding out. Uh, money to women to keep them strung along the hell. That's right. Amen. You don't want God. Amen. You got a little bit of money, got the house you want, got the car you want. Now the only thing that's on your mind is money, 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 money. Yeah. Money. Money, 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 money. No God. That's right. No God, no God at all. Amen. Don't want God at all. That's right. What did he say? The earth also. Everything I you got, mm -hmm. Mr. Man, Miss Woman, everything you got. Amen. 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 All the churches we build, buy, all the properties that God blessed the church with, what's going to happen to it? The earth also and the works that are therein. The works that are in, what's going to happen? Shall be burned up. That's why I can't get up, I can't get caught up in nothing. Yeah. Nothing. If someone gave me a million dollars a day, I won't get caught up in it. That's right. Amen. It won't burn my hand. That's right. No, I'm going to take it and open up some more temples Amen. so I can bang the devil with Bible. That's right. Yeah? That's right. All right. The earth also and the works that are therein. Earth also and the works that are in. Shall be burned shall up. Shall be burned up. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved. What's the results? What man of persons ought ye to be? You see you had all this is coming. The Bible asks this. What kind of person should you be? In all holy conversation. Have your conversation right. And godliness. Live right. Looking for and hasting unto 
the coming of the day of God. What's going to happen, Williams? Wherein the heavens being on fire Are shall be dissolved. Are you ready dissi for this, viewer? Amen. Are you ready for this? For this. Hey, you Democrat, Republican, are you ready for this? For this. White House, Amen. Great Britain, yes. Jamaica, Amen. Barbados, Bermuda, Amen. the governments of the Bahama Islands, Amen. Europe, Amen. Germany, Russia, Amen. Canada. Amen. Are you ready for this? Where are the heavens All being on the fire? All of you politicians that agree to same-sex marriages. Are you ready for what he about to read? Wherein the heavens being on fire, the being on fire shall be dissolved. Shall be dissolved. And the elements shall the melt elements with shall melt. heat. Do you think your laws going to stand up before God? Will My it Lord. pass? My Lord. Hey, politician, will your laws pass Amen. and be able to pass the judgment of God? That's right. Politicians, will your laws pass? Yeah. You voters, Will your vote stand before the judgment of God That's it. and the things that he or she believe, Amen. the ones you vote for, will it stand? Amen. Or is that God in the judgment of God? You better hear this message now. That's right. You better hear this warning God knows. We're living in the last days and the whole earth should rejoice. <laughs> that the message of holiness is in the land, is That's in right. the earth. That's right. The message of the entire earth should rejoice. <laughs> but they won't rejoice. Everybody didn't rejoice when Noah was here. No. They got mad and rejected them. And then God punished the world. That's right. God punished the world. Yeah. Look at the preachers now on radio and television and on social media. I don't know why that folks be just, uh, just be just surfing looking for a false prophet after false prophet after false prophet after false prophet. Lord. You know, there's a false prophet that preached what your flesh loves. That's right. I don't care what it is That's right. that your flesh want to do. What to do. <clears throat> the devil have one of his agents yeah. somewhere that preach it. Oh, yes. Somewhere. That's right. Amen. That's why people be writing to me, Pastor Jennings, you mean to tell me I get married, I'm only allowed one wife and one husband. Don't blame me. I didn't write the Bible. I wouldn't care if you had 30 wives or 1,500 husbands. What would I care? Amen. My job to tell you what God said. I didn't make the law of marriage. God did. God did. I'm not the one that says that uh, you're bound by the law as long as you live and you're not free to one die. I didn't say that. Right. The Apostle Paul, by God's permission, said it. He said and everybody got to be compliant. That's right. Read quick now. Looking for and hasting unto the coming of the day of God. Yes. Wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved. And, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Yeah. Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, we according to his promise, look for new heavens and a new earth. We look for a new heaven and a new earth. Wherein dwelleth righteousness. Wherein what's right live there. Wherefore, beloved, seeing that ye look for such things, what be diligent that ye may be found of him. Wait in a minute. Amen. Be diligent. Be diligent that ye may be found so of him. So when God find us, how do we want to be found? In peace, without spot and blameless. How do you want God to find you? In peace, without spot and blameless. I'm going to preach this. God be my helper. Amen. I mean, God be my helper, and I believe that I have God's help. Oh, yeah. How you want God to find you? In peace. How do you want God to find you, viewers, yeah. listeners? How you want God to find you? You mad with me now? You upset? Sit. Amen. You're cussing. You're stomping around the house. That woman is telling you, turn that old crazy Gino off. You listen at that crazy thing too much. That man is telling that wife, why, don't you, why you keep listening to that man? Yeah. Why you keep listening to that man? That man don't take care of you. I take care of you. Yeah, 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 now. I'm preaching to that woman to tell her to leave you and go back to her husband if she want him. That's right. And if she don't want him, she got to stay neutral until he dies. That's right. Isn't that wonderful? Amen. Now, you come on back. Come on now, viewer, and get ready to obey the Bible. If you don't obey what the Word of God says, you're going to hell. That's it. Your mama's going to hell. Your daddy, you, your husband, all your children. Everybody who don't obey what the word of God said, right. you're going to be dropped. I don't care how big your church is. If your choir sounds so good until it make Gabriel himself come down and operate the soundboard and his, and, 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 and his wings just begin to just shake because how good your choir sounds, I don't care. Right. I really don't care That's at right. all.
Do you hear the Bible talking? Wherefore, beloved, seeing that ye look for such things, be diligent that ye may be found of him in peace. Now, I know hundreds of musicians, hundreds of them, yes. that are not baptized in the name of Jesus Christ and don't have the Holy Ghost speaking in tongues. Amen. They are more talented than, than anybody in here. I know musicians, men and women, that play every instrument you can think of. Sinners, I'm talking about. Right. But if they come to the house of God, they ain't getting on one instrument. <laughs> I don't care how good, and I, 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 I love right. the sound of music. That's right. Love it, I say. But I don't care, it doesn't matter. Amen. God won't get no joy out of that sinner. Right. Because he called it noise. noise. Didn't he? In the noise. book of Amos, until God said, take away from me. The noise, that, that noise of your Take mouth. Take thou away listen from me. Listen to this in the book of Amos. Amos chapter 5 and verse 23. Take that away from me. The noise, the of, noise thy song, of your song. For I will not and I hear, won't hear the melody of thy vials. So I, got a, I got hundreds of musicians that write me, some I grew up with. You can come to first church, come on. But you ain't baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Don't have the Holy Ghost speaking in tongue. Amen. You ain't getting on no organ, no drums, no bass, no flute, no saxophone. Right. None of that. Even yeah. if you come with your instrument. And I see you, and I know you got a second wife. I'm going to send a brother to you and tell you, put it down. Amen. Because how you not even going to appear like we sanction your folly. That's right. That's right. You can get mad at me, get up and walk out. It's dumb of you to think you can come here and put it off, put it over. Amen. Or in the church. Amen. I don't love music that much. I, I know professional jazz musicians that are rich from making money playing. I don't care. Ain't gonna be no jazz in the kingdom. No, nah. no it won't ain't, ain't gonna be nobody in the kingdom shuffling. <laughs> nobody. Ain't gonna be no. Ain't gonna be no Dixieland band in the kingdom. No. Nah. Oh, no. Not at all. We might as well just call it for what it is. That's right. God made it plain what He wants, right. and we gonna give it to Him. Mm -hmm. we, we are we gonna give it to Him or die trying? Amen. Do you hear what the word of God says? Back in Second Peter three and verse fourteen. And the shop. Wherefore, beloved, seeing that ye look for such things. Be diligent that ye may be found of him in peace. We want to be found how? In peace. Be without, found how? In peace. With what? Without spot. Without spot. And blameless. And blameless. blameless. That means when the Lord come for you, viewers, he going to present unto himself a glorious church not having a spot, a not having a wrinkle, nor any such thing. such thing, but that it should be holy. All right, Acts 2.38. Acts 2.38, then Peter said unto them, repent. Yes. And be baptized. All right, let me just interject just a minute. Uh, one of my uh, media brothers, Brother Dre, said that the service from this morning that had all those glitches and skips has been re-uploaded already on YouTube. So you can go to it and get the complete message, viewers. You can go on YouTube now and see the complete morning message no skipping, no jumping around. You can look at the whole thing Amen. and be judged by it. <laughs> you watch it now and glorify God because I'm telling you, there's nothing that viewers, I'm not boasting, but you're not going to find a message out there like this at all. No. It's the power of the gospel. That's right. Power of God all in it. You can feel it. That's right. Amen. You can hear it. And by all means, you can see it. Repent and be baptized, every one of you. In, in the, the name, name of Jesus Christ. Of Jesus Christ. For the Does anybody here want to be baptized in water? In the name of Jesus Christ that was not baptized, stand on your feet if you want it. <laughs> Wonderful. All right, you that are standing, you that are standing, go to the back. You that are standing, go to the back. You that are standing, go to the back. Amen. This is so good. Glory to God. Good is thine word, O Lord. Viewers, remember, December 2nd, or rather January 2nd, January, January, January 2nd, January 3rd. Amen. If you're able, you witness this great dedicated service of the lower auditorium, not the main auditorium, the lower auditorium. When we be making broadcasts and telecasts in the lower auditorium, when they start working in the main auditorium, you may hear banging in the background. We're not going to tell them to stop. Amen. Amen. And I, I want to be able to hear it. Then when I look back years later, I can hear that noise and say, man, I remember when he was working on the main auditorium while the gospel was being preached. 
and the lower auditorium. So we're gonna let we ain't gonna tell the workers stop working. Amen. Amen. I don't care how loud it is up there. Let them work. So we're going to preach the word of God. God be our helper. May God keep you. May God preserve you. Remember now, leave your church so you don't go to hell. Don't stay there. Don't stay there. Pack up out of all man-made religions. Or get mad and stay there and die and be lost. That's your privilege. Tune in again next week when we come burning your britches again with God everlasting word. All right. Let us all stand. Unto him that is able to keep you from falling and present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. Only wise God, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, to him be glory and power both now and forever. Brothers and sisters, say amen.